This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carrie from Woodenville Wine Blog, and today Jen on the right here and I are visiting Address Wines, and Pam has taken time out of her busy day during crush and press season to tell us about Fool's Gold. And Jen is our victim for video because she loves this kind of wine. <laughs> I do. This is beautiful wine. Well, Fool's Gold came about when um, we had moved up here from California. And I love Syrah, so I always want to make Syrahs. So this was my very first Syrah, and I tasted it about six months into barrel, and I went, wow, I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> this is not what it's supposed to be. So we left it alone and went on a quick business trip uh, and had a bourbon beer and came back and thought, what if? What if we went and got some bourbon barrels and tried this? Well, I went over to Woodenville Whiskey to see Brett, mm -hmm. and I bought two different barrels, a rye whiskey barrel and a bourbon barrel. So we started in the rye whiskey barrel, which was eight gallons, and the bourbon is 53. Well, after three months, we just kept, you know, you got a little taste about every couple of weeks to see how it was doing, and it was just getting better and better. Mm -hmm. And finally at the third month, I'm like, I think it's it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it can get any better. So we had other wine club members and friends try it and they're like, yep, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, let's bottle it. <laughs> and then I said, let's do another version. So that was successful. We went to the 53 gallon because I had five barrels of this wine that oh, I- Oh, that you were not pleased mm -mm. with. Okay. So we just kept experimenting and then one barrel went to, I think we now have 10 whiskey barrels and three bourbon barrels okay, and wow. we turn them over about every three to four months with the rye whiskey and it takes about six months or a little longer for the bourbon okay so wow. it gives you we call it fool's gold because it's it's a unique nose that you think mm -hmm. it's going to be something and it is not mm -hmm. i mean you smell it and you're thinking oh yeah. i'm going to get this whiskey I'm, or this bourbon mm -hmm. and it's like you do get some but then you get some other surprises. You get a little vanilla, a little caramel. Mm -hmm. I think you should try it. I think you should see what you get. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious. Don't tell us yet. I get caramel, definitely. And the and definitely a little vanilla, but it mm. doesn't taste sweet at all. It's mm. very much like fits the name. <laughs> How many bottles are you going to buy today, Jen? <laughs> I'm guessing two. Definitely more than one. <laughs> <laughs> it's really beautiful. I'm, I'm, I was coming in here hoping that you still had some, actually, because we had seen it a few months ago. So, yeah, it's just one. It's well, one we really started in the, small bar, in the small bottle because we thought it was really fun and unique. And then we've had quite a few requests to do a bigger bottle. So yeah. we only do two cases of this a year. It's just not everybody wants a full big bottle. So they <laughs> like the little bottle. They think it's unique and the flavor is unique. We tell people it's definitely an after dinner drink, but you can also, we've had people have it with steak. Oh, I can see that. And mm -hmm. things like that. It's like, yeah. it's just a beautiful wine. It's, it was one of those great experiments that went right <laughs> instead of wrong. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> and you can only get it at the Address Wines Tasting Room in Artisan Hill in Woodenville. And you're open on weekends? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Thank and don't forget to follow Woodenville Wine Blog on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram.